PAL stands for Peer Assistance and Leadership Skills. What we do is we mentor special needs kids on a campus. How many people is it? Did you just learn how to kind of be selfless in a way because you're putting your mentees before you and just putting their feelings and everything and you're just thinking about them the whole time and so it really teaches you how to be selfless and I think that's a really great quality. They understand the relationship with their, the staff here on campus has to be huge. If you see any of our kids interacting with the staff on campus, it's, it's a very positive interaction. Our staff feels very comfortable um, asking me to have any of our kids help mentor any students they're having trouble with. We also mentor elementary kids at Vega and Press Elementaries. I always say that it's just such a rewarding experience because it really just brightens your day. Like, because all day you're looking forward to seeing your pal and they're looking forward to see you. And when it's like you get that connection with your kid, it's just awesome. It's like you have a new little brother, a little sister that you get to see all the time. And I have a pal that is in middle school now. And I see her at like, she comes to some of our football games and like uh, basketball games, and she always talks about how she misses pals. And that's just such a great thing to know that you made an impact on her life. We also do peer mediation. We just started that on our campus this year. Hi, I'm Cam. I'm Hi, I'm Rosa. Hi, I'm Rosa. I think it's a great thing that we have peer mediation. It really lets kids get things off of their chest that maybe they wouldn't like to just talk with the person they're having a problem with. They can actually come to a neutral third party and be able to kind of hash out their differences and be able to just have somebody there to listen and be there for them. Because some people don't have that in their lives. They can't go home and talk to one of their parents about it because they might be nervous or they just don't have somebody, a figure like that in their life. We're gonna do three major community service projects this year with our, with our PALS program. They're all in the design phase right now. My favorite moment has to be Special Olympics. It's really moving to me to see them so happy and excited about doing an athletic event, especially when they win, when they're standing on the podium. We all have, all of us, whenever our students win, We'll take pictures of them. Well, we have seven core principles that we try to teach. Responsibility, asking for guidance and, and wisdom, being active in the decision making, not only just saying you're going to do something, but actually doing it, um, committing yourself 100%, being joyful in what you do and cheerful. And you know, one of our biggest things here is we give high fives to anybody and everybody we see. You know, at first people kind of look at you kind of like you're a little strange, but you know, it, it's amazing the energy you see in the hallways because people are just randomly giving high fives to each other, and, and that starts with these guys. You know, I have this philosophy that no one can high five without a smile, and it, so far it's not been broken. We'll, we'll see. The forgiveness principle, where we have to understand that hey, you, sometimes you're going to just have to get forgive and move on. Persistence, uh, just not giving up on anything we do. That's the seven that we kind of foster and we try to build upon, and I think that radiates into everything else that we do. And I think their whole goal is to make this, the atmosphere on North, just such a positive energy. Just being vocal in the student community, being the person that anybody can go to if they have problems or if they just have a suggestion that maybe can make our school better, it's always great being able to be that person that people come to. I'd live like I'm not scared, give when it's not fair.